This beautiful turkey. I'm gonna make two straight long slits down the side of the backbone. Just like that. Bring it over here. Carefully place it. Get yourself some boiling water. Hot, hot, hot. Be careful. I'm gonna shrink the skin a minute. Just a little bit. As such. It's gonna toughen up the skin just a little. Give us a better result. And it'll be nice and crispy. We are good. We continue. And we're gonna debone this carefully. So we've removed all of our dark meat and we're saving that for another recipe. In the meantime, here, real quick, we're gonna salt and pepper that. Afterwards, this delicious butter that we prepared before. Go ahead and place it on there. Roasted garlic, beautiful. Just squeeze it on there. There we go. And we're gonna get this butter and the garlic into every space that we can possibly find. All right, now we are gonna quickly move on to the next step, which is potatoes. Our loaded mashed potatoes. Get yourself some stuffing and some green beans. Make some space real quick. Grab some green beans. Place them in there. And now we're gonna close this turkey up. Just like this. Use this extra skin to help you roll and wrap your turkey correctly. We wanna close in all our ends as well. Get yourself some kitchen twine. Make yourself a knot, all right? Once we've finished our last knot, just cut that little piece off. Grab this beautiful big turkey roll. So some of the same butter that we used earlier. Just give it a little run through. After that, we're going straight to the oven. All right, pop this in here for about two hours. We'll come back when it's ready. All right guys, after the long wait, we are finally back from the oven with this beautiful, beautiful turkey roll. Let's get right into it. Look at that beauty right there. Now what we're gonna do is build our plate. Go right there and get ourselves some of these delicious candied yams that we prepared and continue the process all the way around. Get yourself another slice of this delicious turkey. Candied yam in here, beautifully. Get yourself a little salad. Cannot forget the gravy. And just top it off with a tiny bit of parsley. And from the Chef Club family tears, have a very happy Thanksgiving. And then after that, we're gonna place it in our pyrex, just like so. And this is gonna go into an oven for 45 minutes to decarpsalization. All right, and the reason for this process is to sweat out the marijuana. All right, so with the CBD out of the oven, we need to infuse it. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with boiling water and also butter. And so what we're gonna do is gonna make a CBD butter very easily. And now we're gonna pour it in. And so now this needs to cook on medium low for 45 minutes while we let this big bad boy rest. To remove. Now we're ready to strain. So just watch me here. Very, very easy technique. All we're doing is straining out everything. Now look at that color. It smells wonderful, by the way. And I know this is gonna be the best Thanksgiving ever. No fighting at the table this year. All right, so now I'm gonna place this in the fridge and let it set up for about 30 minutes. Now it's time to butcher the turkey. So we need a sharp knife. And after a few little slings, I'm gonna take the turkey. And so this technique that I'm gonna do is called spatchcock. And so you're gonna take the turkey on the other side, grab, and then we're gonna go right down the right side of the backbone, just like so. You need to open it up, left side as well. Awesome. Now, so from here, 
We have to go around the bone, so you're going to push in, and then you're going to have to get down into it after you make the second slice. And we're going to start, if you hear that, that's what you want to hear, and now we're going to go out the socket. If you heard that pop out, and now we have the first half of our spatchcock done. We're going to continue with the second half here. So you're going to go all the way down, go for the shoulder blade. Once you get to here, you're going to pop the bone. You're going to continue down. Make sure that everything is detached ligaments and so forth. Again, be very, very careful not to cut your fingers. And now we're going to take out the top part. All right, so once we take off our backbone here, now we actually need to take out the rib cage. And so this is kind of a little bit of an easy process, but you're just going to take some time. So now you're going to follow along. And I like to start by running my fingers. And so it'll kind of detach for yourself here. And then we're just going to be pushing in into where the rib cage is. And you'll be doing long slices, just like I'm doing here. And you see where the rib cage is? You'll just be slowly slicing into that and then pushing down and following toward the front. Use your fingers to kind of pull away. And it's a little bit easy to go that way and slice. And again, guys, this is not a technical thing that takes a long time to do. Just follow your fingers and then just slice the slices so that's smooth. And we're just going to the front, go through, and we're going to finish off taking off the rib cage there. Pretty easy. So I want to show you this. So now what we're going to do, we're going to flip the bird over. And so everything has now been taken out of the bird. And so now this gives us a good start for our next step. All right, so bringing back the turkey here, I want to show you how we're going to go about the process. So now I have my stuffing. I'm gonna put this on the other cutting board. And what you wanna do, you wanna form a ball. Very easy, kind of like a little oval. And we're gonna take our turkey and we're gonna form this around instead of actually stuffing it. So that looks absolutely wonderful. At this point, we're gonna bring in our butter of CBD. A little bit of rosemary, I'm gonna pull that around. Mix with your finger, and as you can tell, it's as solid as it was before. Grab a little bit with your hand. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick up our skin and now we're just going to push in, in the meat here. And so now what you want to see is just going through. And we want to be able to detach it just a little bit like we're doing here. And now we're going to go to the other side. You're going to get up under the skin here. You're going to have to detach it just a little bit. So use your fingertips. And once you get to the end, go for your, where your palm's at. You're going to pull out just like so. And we need to make sure that we actually cover it all in butter. So now I'm going to continue the process of going back and forth until all our butter is used up. All right, so now I'm going to push this here. I'm going to hold the back side. No turkey is without bacon. So I'm going to take my bacon sheet, and I have parchment paper under it so to hold it. So what I'm going to do is just put it right over the top, just like so. Very, very cool. Now watch the magic. Very easy. And now I'm going to form and tuck this under. All right, so I'm tucking it under. And so for this last part, all you have to do is part like the Red Sea. And so now we're just going to pretty much take all that bacon and put it under. Do the same thing for our other leg here. Now what you'll do, you'll put one leg on top of the other. Now this, you'll grab the entire thing all at one time. Awesome. I'm going to put this in the center just to show you. Now the big thing whenever you're doing a bacon turkey, you need to add water so that we actually cook that with water vapor. And so once we add everything in the bottom, really, really easy guys. We're going to do aluminum foil right over the top, just like so, pull it in here, make sure there's no holes anywhere, and now this is going to go into a preheated oven, 325 degrees for three hours. All right, so guys, we have now the beautiful bacon CBD turkey. So what I've done here is actually took off the top 30 minutes before the extra cooking, and now this is our glaze that we're going right over the top with. And so this is maple syrup, a little bit of brown sugar, and then also water, something very, very easy to make. But as you can tell, it just changes the entire color of everything. So make sure you get everything all the way down to the legs. And if you need to, you can kind of smooth it out for yourself. You don't want to waste any of this beautifulness. All right, so after you glaze your turkey, you got to go a little bit deep. So I'm going to cut all the way down. So now I'm going to lift up everything. So now you have the stuffing. You got a beautiful looking turkey. Grab it, a little bit of stuffing. Go straight up. 
probably going to be hot, but man, that's wonderful, guys. Make sure to check it out. This recipe only on chefclub.tv. Thank you.